All right, welcome back to Game for Your Thoughts. So, um, I was gonna go check out this way and see. Let's see, this power has no counter, and Diddy Human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Um, I was gonna figure out that piano puzzle, but uh, I figured I'd go this way and see what happens. Um, a soul of a special species of monster called the boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but it has never happened, and now it never will. That's good. That seems... Whoa, that's cool. Hello. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seemed dry. Okay. That's cool. Bye. Please take one. Okay. Take an umbrella? Take one. You took an umbrella. Yay! I feel so safe. Like Mary Poppins all of a sudden. Would this be like death rain? And it's like if I were to like walk in the death rain, then I would die. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Cool, now I have a cute little companion that's not gonna walk in the rain with me. That's kind of lame. Um, I do like the water puddle effect. That's actually really cool. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. No one she was gonna beat me up. Ha ha. Ha ha. I like this. This is fun. This is nice. I like where this is going. Oh, what's up? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and shit. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She would beat up all the teachers. Yeah, yeah. Abuse is funny. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Maybe teachers aren't innocent. Didn't think about that, did ya? Jeez, stupid lemon guy, not thinking straight. Oh, okay, I am walking. Ooh, this is nice. This is really, really cool. Wait, come back. This is nice. This is really cute. What if I stand right here? Maybe if I just keep going. I don't know, but that was cool. This is cool. I like this. I'd play a whole game that looks just like that. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Maybe I gotta put the umbrella back. Return the umbrella. Put back. You return the umbrella. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb up on my shoulders. Climbing up on his shoulders. Cool. I liked the effect. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. I know. And you always find a way to somehow smack your face on the concrete. Like some fool of some kind. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked us suddenly and without mercy. That's so rude. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. I like it. That's, that's cute. Okay. In the end, it could be hardly called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. That sounds really awful. Are we going to get, like, a Attack of the Clones, like, conveyor belt scene? No. Dance, dance, revolution! Dance, dance, do-do-do-do. Oh, no. Oh, no, Undyne. Okay, we're getting something a lot cooler than I'm not I would thought thinking. Stab. I like this. This is really, really cool. I've really enjoyed my time with Undertale. Um I'm excited to continue with our time on Undertale. Um Stab 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 The music of this game has like been my favorite so far. And the characters, and the writing, and the jokes. It's all been really, really rad, and I really liked it. So, thanks for suggesting I play Undertale, because this has been a swell adventure that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I don't know where to go, that's for sure. This is certainly a maze of amazing... Oh no, I slightly got caught on the, the spike. Oh, definitely not that way. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh, this looks very open to bad things happening. Ah! Just barely caught me. Oh god, okay. 
Can I go this way? Yes. This is good. This is good. Stab. Stab. Okay. I like this. Good change of pace. Uh-oh. I've been backed into a corner. I don't like it. The music stopped. <laughs> a little nervous. I've been backed into a corner. Oh, Undyne. Uh-oh. Ah! He sliced the platform so hard everything turned white. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? I've fallen and I can't get up. Are you okay? Here, get up. Just stand up with your feet. Carl, huh? That's a nice name. How do you know my name's Carl? My name is something. Hello, world. I have awoken. Okay. This is weird. But at least the undying didn't, didn't straight up kill me. That's always cool. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below, feeling this endless cycle of worthless garbage. It fills you with determination. Is that implying that I am garbage? I don't like that. Okay. Where to now? That's my bike! That's my beat-up desktop computer. Inside is empty. It's a cooler. Cool. It has no brown and shines no strands of wear. Inside are a couple freeze-dried space food bars. Sure, astronaut food. I'll take it. It's a DVD case for anime. Despite claw marks, desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Sure. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. Oh, now I feel bad. Is the dummy going to come back and be like, Yo! Oh, no! <laughs> the dummy kind of did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Fool, you think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in, in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Okay, mad dummy blocks away, and he's an ugly son of a bitch. Okay, um, mad dummy, talk. You talk to the dummy, dot, dot, dot. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Futile, futile, futile! Like finding, like, the master from Fallout 1, where he repeats everything he says, but in, like, different voices. Futile, futile, futile! Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! I'm gonna go with that route. Hey, you! Forget everything about magic! Mad Dummy is looking nervous. Hey, dude. You talk to the dummy. Dot, dot, dot. It doesn't seem that much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. I like that. That's This is some fun music. Ha, ha, ha. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. <laughs> nice. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. I just like spit on my microphone. <laughs> Sorry, hold up, let me get that. Whoops. Ah, ah, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy spitting on my microphone. Smells like a clothing store. Okay, hold up, I gotta... I'll just talk to him. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. <laughs> okay, that was... Bad. Oh, I died. Okay, cool. We died. Well, I guess, uh, well... Bad way to end the episode. Our fate rests upon you. Carl, stay determined. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, but I think I would appreciate it if you guys were determined to show up on the next episode of A Game for Your Thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next.